Today I'm going to read a story called Roly Poly Riley and Friends Antics with the Ice Cream Truck by Greta Cole. It was another lovely day in the Willow Park neighbourhood and Riley as usual was hanging around the front veranda of Mrs Robert's house. His number one spot was on a cane chair with a well-worn and now flattened cushion that had stitched home sweet home on the front. It was his favourite place to relax and watch the goings on of the neighbourhood. There's Roly Poly. As usual, good old Captain Jack had wandered over to see his best buddy hoping for some playtime activity. Most days, Riley would be obliging, but today he just wanted to stay put in his warm posse. It must have been a weekend day as there was a sound of musical chimes indicating to the surrounding district that the ice cream truck was in the area. Riley and Jack always got rather excited when they heard the ding-a-ling sounds as it meant they could see Bobby Sideburns. He was the owner of Cool Treats Co and was a jolly wee fellow who always seemed to wear a pair of trousers that were a size too small. Or maybe it was the fact that he ate too many ice creams in between shifts. There's Bobby Sideburns. Bobby Sideburns had a bit of a soft spot for the two four-legged friends and would give them free ice cream served up on paper plates. Jack's favourite was Goody Goody Gumdrops. There's Jack with goody goody gumdrops. He was rather fascinated by the green colour. The gumdrops always seemed to get stuck around his teeth, though it didn't bother him too much as it meant he had something sweet to suck on for the rest of the day. As they saw the ice cream truck crawling down the street, both Riley and Captain Jack noticed that there was smoke coming out of the back window. Bobby Sideburns seemed oblivious to it, but the truck, as the truck approached, Jack started to bark to try and get his attention. It wasn't until the truck got closer that Bobby noticed Jack yelping and Riley prancing to and fro frantically. He initially thought they were falling around and just laughed at them. But he soon realised that something was up and slowed the truck down next to the curb. A whiff of smoke went past the driver's window. Here's the truck with smoke coming out. Ah, what's going on then, he yelled as he jolted his truck to a halt. He got out of his driver's seat as quick as a flash and went to where the smoke was coming from. Oh, it's going to be one of those days, is it? I just don't believe it. Smoke and a few sparks were coming from the truck's generator. The generator was the engine that kept all the truck's machines working, including keeping the cold, cool treats cold. Unbelievable, Bobby was muttering to himself. Obviously, those rubber bands that I had around those two wires to keep things secure hasn't worked. Bobby was one who always liked to fix things on the cheap. His motto was, if it ain't that bad, it ain't hard to fix. But now things had got bad. And if he didn't get onto things quickly, all his afternoon treats would melt and his profits for the day would be gone. Meanwhile, Jack was barking and this caught the attention of Mrs Roberts who was out with the long cord and trimmer, cutting back the weeds. Of course, she always used a cord with a safety switch. She was totally into health and safety. Mrs Roberts came round to the front of the house to see what all the fuss was about. Oh, Mr Sideburns, really? What's happening here? Even though Mr. Roberts, Mrs Roberts liked Bobby, she always thought he acted like a big kid who needed to be looked after. Well, uh, I'm not totally sure, Mrs Roberts, but I think maybe by all the smoke my generator is on the blink, Bobby said sheepishly. It's been running fine all morning, but seems to be cooking out on me now, conking out on me now. If that's the case, then you need to shut off the generator straight away, instructed Mrs Roberts. That will mean all my ice cream will melt, Mrs Roberts, and that will be total disaster. Sticky melted ice cream ain't pleasant to clean up, I can assure you, he rabbited on. Well, just as well I'm here, isn't it, Mr Sideburns, said Mrs Roberts. Bobby always knew that he wasn't in Mrs Roberts' good books 
when she used Mr. and his second name together, especially in that tone of voice. I've got my safety cord here and we'll plug this into your generator until we can sort something out for you. Oh, Mrs. Roberts, you're an absolute legend. What a truly fantastic idea. With that, Bobby grabbed the extension cord and after removing the generator plug, stuck the extension into the socket. With a thud and a bang, all the truck's machinery started back up. Hooray! Both Bobby and Mrs. Roberts yelled, with Riley and Jack skipping about excitedly. Now the second issue that we need to solve is for you to sell your remaining ice cream, concluded Mrs. Roberts. Looking at Riley and Jack, she said, Now lads, I'm going to make up some sandwich board signs and put it over your back. I want you to go around the community and bring in the customers. It didn't seem long before both Riley and Jack were swaggering down the street, displaying the cardboard signs that Mrs. Roberts made up. Here we are. Riley and Jack with their signs. Jack was excitedly barking all the way along the path and this brought out all the kids to see what was going on. Within half an hour, both Riley and Jack were trotting back to Mrs. Roberts' house with a long trail of kids and some parents eager to make a cool treat purchase. It was kind of like a scene out of the Pied Piper with all the children dancing and prancing after the Piper Man, but in this case it was after two four-legged creatures. Well, Bobby Sideburns had a cracker of an afternoon. His sales were up no end. He sold more in that afternoon than he usually would have done in a week. After the success of selling all the ice cream, he was able to take his truck to the appliance centre to get the generator fixed. From that time forward, every Saturday, Bobby Sideburns, at no cost, gave Riley and Captain Jack a double serving of their favourite ice cream treat. And Mrs Roberts received the Super Duper Mega Chocolate Tropper 100,000 soft serve. It was her favourite. Here we are. I hope you enjoyed the story. This was Roly Poly Riley and Friends Antics with the Ice Cream Truck by Greta Cole.